What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using a Ho-Oh team that won Japan Nationals. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the GG community. It only takes a second of your guys' time. All you gotta do is just, you know, scroll down just like, it's about two inches and then click that subscribe button. It's big red, says subscribe on it. Can't miss it, you cannot miss it. But two things I wanna go over before we get started with today's team preview. One, I wanna give a huge shout out to the team creator for this team. Link to his socials will be down in the description below. And two, your boy is going to be streaming over on the Short Circuit Gaming channel on Wednesday. So if you guys are interested in that, head down the link in the description below. Go follow SCG's uh, Twitch page. And I'll be live over there around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's going to be a starting to be a normal thing, me streaming on their channel. So if you guys want to catch more content from me, head down in the link in the description below. Go follow SCG's uh, Twitch page. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Ho-Oh. And it's kind of amazing that a Ho-Oh team won Japan Nationals because you never see Ho-Oh really thrive. And so this team is actually really cool. It's got Regenerator alongside with that weakness policy. Then you got Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, EQ for coverage, and then we got Protect for our fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Groudon. I've been ripping with Groudon as recently. It's just such a good uh, restricted mind, and I feel like it is just it just works on every single team. It's got the Drought, it's got the Soul Vest, and then it's got Prism Place Blades, Heat Crash, Rock Slide, and Shadow Claw. So three coverage moves, one stab move. This boy is made to hit like a truck. Middle left is going to be our Dragapult over here. Nice little support Pokemon with Clear Body and the Focus Ash. It's got Phantom Force for Stab, Surf to actually proc the weakness policy on Ho-Oh, and then we got Will-O-Wisp to burn physical attackers, and Ally Switch to protect ally Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be my favorite Grim Snarl set of all time. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while now, you guys know I absolutely love Light Clay Grim Snarl. It's got the Prankster ability and then a great move set of Spirit Break, Thunder Wave for Paralyzes, Reflect, and Light Screen to set up those beautiful screens. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the Kyogre counter. It is going to be Storm Drain Gastron with leftovers. It's got Earth Power, Ice Beam, Yawn to Protect. Probably the best move set for any Gastron at this moment. Final Pokemon on the squad is P2 over here with Trace and the Evo Light. Ice Beam, Foul Play, Recover, and Trick Room. So he's our Trick Room setter, our Trick Room counter, and he's just great in a lot of different situations. But guys, there's team preview. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is right at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Japan National winning team. First battle coming at you guys, we're going up against a Weather War squad. We're going up against a Kyogre team with Shadow Rider Kalex and Reggie Gagas combo. So how should we go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Storm Drink Astron's got to come in here. Same thing with Groudon. I kind of want to lead like the Ho-Oh and uh, Dragapult. Try to get one with that. That could be pretty strong. Or we can honestly, if he goes into that, that could be tough for us. Because then he can just bring Kyogre, you know? But you know what? We should do that. And then if he doesn't bring Kyogre, we can roll on the Groudon or Storm Drink Astron. And kind of just get buzzing from there. Right? That does sound pretty good for us. That does sound pretty good. So you know what? I'm going to go with that. I'm definitely going to go with that. I am digging it. I am definitely digging it. Because we can proc policy kind of get one from there. I do like it. So say if he leads Kyogre, I can swap to my Storm Drink Gastron, go into a Phantom Force. We can kind of just roll off from there. But yeah, Kyogre is definitely a problem. It is definitely a little issue. For us, but we should be fine. We should be fine. Let's see who he ends up leading. Let's see who he ends up going into. We shall see. We shall see. Anybody but Kyogre. He goes into Kyogre and Weezing. What a weird combo. Actually, Rain's not going to come out here. Unless he swaps. Rain is not going to come out here. Unless he swaps. Unless he swaps, Rain is not going to come out here. So what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. What do I do here? I could swap into the Gastron. Just in case he wants to go into the move. And just Phantom Force. I think that's going to be my play. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to drop a Phantom Force, and I think I'm just going to swap to my Storm Drain Gastron. Try to dodge some moves here. Try to dodge some moves. Get this Storm Drain Gastron out on the field. I'm not I'm not going to Dynamax my ho just yet, even though I kind of want to because he doesn't have the rain. But it just takes one swap from the Weezing just to get the rain going in. So I'm going to swap the Ho-Oh. I'm going to bring out my Gastro. Get out, my boy. Look at him. Yeah. Little, little slug action. Little slug action. He's going to end up dropping a Water Spell, and I can't believe we don't get Force. I, oh, my God. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Our storm drain's not, not out and about. Our storm drain is not here. That's ugly. Our storm drain is not here. That stinks. That that does stink. Storm drain is not here. Uh, we should be able to eat up another water spout, right? 116. It did not do 116. I think I'm just recovering here. Oh, I do not have recover. Uh, I could protect. What I'm going to do. I'll protect here. I will protect. And I'm surprised that Kyrie outspeeds. He's got to be choice. Wow, I totally forgot my ability's not going to work due to neutralizing gas. You just never see that kind of happen, right? 
And I feel like I never had Storm Drain cancel out by neutralizing gas. I was so confused. I was just like, why isn't my Storm Drain broken? We're going to go into a nice little Phantom Force. Chip up half damage. That's huge. That's lovely. He's going to go for another Water Spell. And he's choice into that. He is choice into that, which is huge. So my boy Dragapult should be able to eat this up. And he's probably just going to Will-O-Wisp burn me, right? You going to Will-O-Wisp burn me? How dare you? Will-O-Wisp coming in hot. So he does burn me. Okay. So, uh, I'm kind of cool with that. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. I have my leftovers chipping up, giving me, me some HP. Okay. I see it. I see it. And from here, what do we do? Hmm. Could Will Lewis over on you just get, get some chip damage here. See, he's going to be able to outspeed me all day. Probably take me out. So I'm just going to go there. And how do I yawn on that thing? Or do I start chipping up damage on that? I think he's going to swap. I really do think he might swap that, uh, that ogre. He's choice. He's choice ogre, so he might swap it. Little water spell just sitting there. We'll see what he wants to do. So I'm going to go into the wheezing, maybe thinking he's going to swap here. Or he might even protect the ogre. We'll see what he wants to do. But he's probably just going to take out my uh, a Dragapult here. And then we're going to have to bring out a Pokemon to Dynamax. So he ends up staying and just going straight for a water spell. That's fine. Dragapult is going to drop. Gastron is going to be able to eat. And we're going to be able to get off a nice little EP. A nice, lovely little EP. So I think I might bring out Ho-Oh at this point. Oh, might come out here at this point. He's going to taunt me. So he taunts me. I'm attacking anyway. I'm kind of with it. Kind of with it. Earth Power's going to come out here. And this thing does have the Shookaberry. He's ripping with the Shookaberry. So this thing's going to be able to soak up pretty fine. And uh, go from there. So he soaks up that shot. And what do I do from here? Who do I bring in here? I feel like Ho-Oh would be a little bit better. Because we can Dynamax and they say he goes for a Water Spout. We can soak up pretty well. Right? And then to have Weakness Policy Proc. Start taking speed. Kind of going from there. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, we're going to have to Dynamax this point. Let's get Dynamax. Let's get Dynamax. And so, yeah. Dynamax. Airstream. Let's get some speed on our side. Go there. And then we have to attack again. So, I'm just going to go into an Earth Power here. Because Airstream should be able to take him out after his policy is proc. Unless he swaps Ogre. Unless he swaps Ogre. But yeah, dude, that neutralizing gas kind of throw me off. It really does. You're sitting there, like, expecting the rain. Like, you don't know. You don't know what he's doing. You don't know what he's doing. But pretty cool. It is pretty cool. We end up Dynamax in the hoe. Oh. Try to rip up with him. And how much damage is this water spout really going to do to us? How much damage is this water spout really going to do? He's going to protect the wheezing. That's totally fine. It protects the wheezing. He's going to go for water spout. Ho, oh, he should soak pretty well. Yes. Ho, oh, oh, I love you. Ho, oh, oh, soaks really well here. Airstream's going to come out here. We're going to start getting our speed. And we have weakness policy proc. Which... So weakness policy is proc. In action. Kyogre should go down here, right? Yeah, all day. Beautiful. So we get a plus one speed. I'm like, and we get a crit, even though we didn't need it. Get out my face. I was just rubbing it on that Kyogre. Okay, so we have ground still in the back end. Um, we could go for a max quake and deal some damage and get a special defense boost onto the Weezing if we want to. But I don't know. I do not know. We'll get some leftovers HP. My Gastron survived another turn, which is lovely. But I do think he does have Shadow Rider Kyogre that's just lurking in the back there. Which is a little scary Pokemon. But slow start, but match about to start picking up because he's going to Dynamax. I Dynamax here. He's going to bring out Regigigas, who he's, he is definitely Dynamaxing. He is 1,000% Dynamaxing. So you know what? I'm just going to go and try to get rid of this thing. And then throw a Yawn on it. Oh, I can't Yawn. That is ugly. I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam. Look for a Freeze, yo. I'm going to look for a Freeze here. We going for a Freeze, baby. But yeah, if I can take out Weezing here, maybe I should double down into it. The slow start neutralizing gas can come back in the play, which could be really good for us. Which could be lovely for us. So he's definitely going to Dynamax at Regigigas. He's going to try to get ripping with him. But I am terrified of it. I am terrified. But my Ho-Oh should, I think, be able to outspeed with a plus one. And if we can get rid of this Weezing, oh my god, that could be so good. Because slow start will we'll proc and that will just kind of destroy out the Regigigas. I'm surprised you led the Kai Ogre instead of the Regigigas. But here's the Dynamax. Saw it's coming from a mile away. Let's get ripping. Let's get ripping. Then if we get a Freeze, we have a 10% chance on the Freeze. Fingers crossed on the freeze board. That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. We just freeze this boy. Let's see what he does. But I think what's called is going to go down here. Gashon. I don't know, actually. Because Regigigas would be faster than Gashon, but I think Regigigas would go after Ho-Oh. Let's see how this one plays out. We do outspeed, so if this Quake could kill, this could be huge. This could be huge if this Quake could kill. Kill it. Take it out. Let's go. That's big time KO. Neutralizing Gas gone. Slow Stark going to proc out here. We love it. We love it. We love it. Get that thing out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Bring out the slow start. Bring out the slow start. Thank you very much. Slow start out and about. 
and we here to play. He's gonna go for max strike, slow us down a little bit, and we might have to start boosting our speed up again. Oh, he goes after Gastro. He goes after Gastro, so he takes out my Gastron. I can bring out my ground on here. He's gonna bring my Ho-Oh back to normal speed, and I think Calyrex is just gonna come out to play. I think Calyrex is just gonna come out to play. Okay. We'll bring out our Assault Vest Boy, which is beautiful. And I'm kind of scared of that ground on, or not the uh, ground on, the Regigigas, because I know it's rocking all these covers. But I know it is. We know it is. So I could take speed again. By going for airstream. He's got to have Calyrex in the back end, which is probably focus as. So I might double down into the Calyrex and just not worry about this Regigigas right now. Even though Regigigas is still, still just a huge problem. He's still just a huge problem all around. Rather annoying, too. Rather annoying. <laughs> but ho is plus one on special defense. So if he does bring out Calyrex, we should be thriving here. But I wonder what this guy's doing. Please don't tell me this guy lagged out. Please don't tell me this guy lagged out. Okay, he's going to throw Thunderous as his final mod. Okay. Thunderous is going to be his final mod. Okay. I don't mind it. Thunderous is going to be his final mod. I'm going to get after him. I'm going to have to get after him. Drought's out and about. I could actually fire onto that, uh, that Regigigas. And then prop like a Rock Slide or something. I kind of want to double down into the Thunders and just get rid of them, right? Kind of do. Hmm, what do I want to do? Who's faster? Who's who's faster on, on our team? Who's faster on our team? Right now, might be faster. Let's see, 120. Okay, so oh, it's going to be faster. I think we got to take a little bit of speed action here. I really do think we got to take a little bit of speed. So, you know, I'm going to grant some speed here. And I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide to try to get rid of the Thunders. I'm going to double down the Thunders try to get rid of them. Oh my god. No way he just did that. No way. No way. He just dodged my turn. That's a huge turn for him. Rock Slide's gonna come out here. I'm gonna chip up a little bit of damage on the Regigigas. Wow, yo, what a dodge. What a fly. What a fly. What a fly. He's gonna go for a hailstorm. Who you going after? Probably my Groudon, right? Eat this up. I love you. Alright, so slow start definitely doing some work. Uh from here he took weather from us, which is kinda ugly. Which is definitely kinda ugly. I could protect my ho-ho, but I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should. Wow. Wow, dude, he dropped a fly on me. That could have been a big turn for us if I actually would have got off some damage on the Reg Gagas, but that fly might have won him the game. Wow. What a play. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. So now we're sitting here. Uh, I could go for Sacred Fire, look for a burn, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there, and then I'm just going to drop the Rock Slide because the fly is going to come out after this. So I kinda, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this because both my Pokemon are faster than Regigigas, I think. I think he's going to go first with a fly. Yes, sir. He's going to rip into my Ho-Oh. I was going to actually take a lot of damage there. It's a lot more than I thought. Sacred Fire is going to fly through here. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. No burn. Rock Side pokes through here. Does some damage onto him. And wow, this is going to be a close battle here. Hailstorm's going to come out here. And who's he going after? He's going to take on my Groudon. So Groudon goes out all day. Oh, Groudon survives, but Buffett's going to take him out. Buffett's definitely do 11 damage, right? Buffett's definitely do 11. Right? Dude, that's kind of close. Buffett's come out here. And it does do 11. Okay, um... We have no double... We have EQ. But EQ's not gonna kill. EQ's not gonna kill. This is a Thunders. Wow, and he outspeeds me. How dare this thing? He's just gonna wild charge into me. Is there any way I can win this battle? Protect, maybe? Oh my god, no! Yo, he won because of the fly dodge. What a battle. I mean, I could protect, but what's he gonna do? What is protect really gonna do? Right, protect's gonna do nothing. It's going to do nothing. I mean, we'll try to take a fire onto the thunderous. We'll see where he goes from here. He's gonna end up. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can we can we eat up whatever he has to offer? No. Wild charge can kill me all day. <laughs> Wild charge kills me all day. Wow, he protected the Reggie Gagas. Protect the Regigigas. Imagine if we would have dodged or something like that and ended up killing that and then just outspeed the Regigigas and win him that battle. That would be crazy. But solid first battle. Let's hop into our second. Look to get our first win. Not a bad first battle. We ended up losing, which means we got to win here in battle number two. But we're going up against a Shed Ninja team. Shed Ninja Groudon Drought team with Yvelta, Grimmsnarl, and Thunderous. We definitely have to bring in some firepower here just to get rid of that Shed Ninja. I think it's going to be a pain if he does end up bringing it in. So how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I could go Dragapult and Ho-Oh combo, or I could go Grimmsnarl and try to get rolling with that. But I feel like Dragapult and Ho-Oh, we can get started with a Surf and kind of rock out from there. Right? It does sound pretty good. But the Wild Charge is kind of annoying me, right? Like that Defiant Boy could definitely be a problem, but I don't know if he's going to lead it. So, you know, I'm just going to go Ho-Oh. I'm going to go Dragapult, and then last but not least, I'm going to be Groudon and Grimmsnarl or P2. P2. 
he too could come in here. And Grimshaw's not bad, but I do like me some uh some good old Gastron. Gastron or P2. This is tough. This is real tough. We can go Grim. Grim's not bad either. Grim with the paralyzes and all that good stuff. I do like me some uh this little Grim action. But I usually like to lead Grimson all if that's the case. So I might just go Gastron again. Where do I go P2? I'm gonna go P2. P2 is not a bad little Pokemon, so I'm going to go P2 in the back end, try to roll off from there, and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But do that first battle. If that Thunderous didn't dodge, we would have been thriving. Because I was definitely tempted to go into, my, my thought process was maybe like a flare before that, into the Regigigas, just do some big old damage. But uh, he ended up flying and dodging. We went for the Airstream and tried doubling down. Smart play by him, he dodged out, and it ended up uh, winning the battle. But he's going to go end up going Yvelta alongside with uh, Grimstone. So we could fake out my... Uh, Actually, you can't fake out my Dragon Pole. We're ghost type. So I just think Surf's gonna be to play Dynamax and maybe get after an Airstream. Take just a little bit of speed here. Do I Airstream or do I, uh. Do I set a little bit of Drought action? Why get a special defense boost? Airstream's not too bad here. Hmm. Wait could be good, but I'm, I'm leaning towards a bit more of an Airstream just for speed. I know Yvelta might be Dynamaxing. We are physical attacking, so Snarl really won't do anything. Uh, do I want a little bit of speed? I think special defense boost is going to work just a little bit better. And the reason I say that is because Yvelta might Dynamax go for an airstream on zone. So that, that might just cancel us out. Yeah, so he's going to Dynamax. We might be going for a Dark Aurora, but we are Focus Sash. We are sitting here with a lovely little Sash. So uh, special defense boost would be nice for us. Can't go wrong with special defense boost. Yvelta's going to get the Dynamax. Ho is going to get the Dynamax. We're going to get rolling from there. We are indeed going to get that. Plus, we're going to have our, uh, our weakest policy proc, so our boys should be able to do some good damage, but it might not be able to take out Grimstar with a max weight. Might not be able to do it, but I just want this special defense. I really do. He could paralyze me, though, which, mm, that'd be no fun. That'd be no fun. So, Airstream definitely wasn't a call, which is good. Good thing we didn't go into it, because, again, he can Airstream to cancel us out, or he can just go for a paralyze. So, I'd rather get the special defense boost. I feel like we get more value out of it. A lot more value out of it. Let's see what he ends up doing. Setting up a screen, maybe? Yeah, he sets up a reflect, a reflect so we're definitely not going to be able to take out that Grimstraw with this Quake. And we're just going to go for a Surf. So we Surfing up here, chipping up just, just a little bit of damage all around. Just a tad bit. More importantly, packing this policy, then we're going to get rolling. The Yvelta is probably going to go for an Airstream or Darkness into my Dragapult. Now he goes into an Airstream. Is that in the Pult? It is going to be in the Pult. And Pult's going to say, yo, that's a tasty snack. Let me eat that up. So he's able to eat that up. I could actually go for a, uh, what's called this turn, too? An ally switch. I could definitely ally switch, but Quake's gonna come out here. We want this special defense boost. We're gonna try to get ripping into the Grimstar. And wow, oh my god, it did so much damage. That did a lovely amount of damage. And he gets a free focus ash, which is even worse. So we know my boy actually goes first. We know my Dragapult does go first. And oh, I really want actually I'm just gonna fan of force. See if we can dodge move, you know? Go into that and then uh let's just flare. We could flare. And Baxon actually hit the button with the with my knee right here. But it's all good. Flare, flare works. I'll flare. So I probably should have airstream. I probably should have airstream, but I'll go for a flare. He's going to end up getting both screens off. Run a little play by him. Maybe he'll go into my uh, Dragon Pole. Maybe he won't. But he's going to go into my Dragon Pole. Okay. Fine. So he goes in Dragon Pole. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm really not worried about this Grimstone. I mean, he got off his screens. And this thing does have a little bit of speed cooking for him. But I think we should be fine here. I think we should be fine. We're going to end up dropping a nice little max flare. Chipping up some damage on the Yvelts. And we're going to roll from there. So his policy damage is huge. So another flare will take that Pokemon out. We'll take him out no problem. But I can go into P2. I could go into... Actually, I could roll into P2 and just pop a trick room. So I'm thinking of doing. Thinking of doing. Trying to get off this trick room because he has speed. He has speed on his side all day. If I get this trick room rolling, I think we should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go trick room and try to flare down this Yvelta. She belt. So we're gonna trace up onto the Dark Aurora. Imagine we get Prankster. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. We got radiating Dark Aurora. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go for this trick room. Trick room's gonna be my play. Hop a nice little trick room. I am gonna flare across onto the Yvelta slot. It kind of should go from there because flare will take it out with this drought boost. It. I really do like where we're sitting. I really do like because Grimstarl is on one. We do have our Groudon in the back. And if we could pop this Trick Room, we'd be looking good. Gonna end up withdrawing Grimstarl. So Grimstarl is gonna get the withdrawal. 
And he's gonna go in the Charizard. Yo, so Trick Room can come out here. We'd be, oh my god, we could be sitting so good. We'd be sitting so good. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for a Darkness. That's gotta be into my, my P2. P2, eat this. I love you, P2. I love you, P2. P2 soaking. P2 is soaking. He's gonna get that special defense drop, but we're sitting in a solid spot here. I really do like where we're sitting. Flare's gonna be able to take out your belts all day. We're gonna pop a Trick Room, and we're gonna get after this. We're going to get after this battle. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Cool. Alright, so Charizard, I'm, I'm kind of worried about. That thing is, is, uh, hits like a truck. So we kind of just got to get after that Pokemon. I might have to Ice Beam up, up onto him. A little Icy Beam. Little beams of ice. He's going to take some solar power damage, which isn't bad. That's a nice little chunk. That's a nice little chunk for him just hopping into the battle. Okay. Okay. So we're sitting here. Dynamax is done. His Javelt is gone. We have Grimstarl on one. We have Trick Room in our favor. So he's going to roll back into Grimstarl. And probably a Fake Out ready to roll, right? Probably, probably a fake out ready to roll. If I had to guess, right? That's gotta be his turn. Fake out's gotta be ready to roll. So you know what? I'm just going to Charizard. Really poses more of a threat. I'm just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna protect my hoe -Oh here. But I think he's gonna be faking me out, right? I'm gonna protect the bird. Predict the fake out here. See what he does. Go for a scary face. So okay, he's slowing me down. Or, or is he slowing Charizard down? He's slowing Charizard down. And P2 still goes first, which is gorgeous. P2 still goes first. We're going to chip up some damage. And he's going to go for a Heat Wave. Heat Wave's looking scary. That is scary. That's going to definitely take out P2, right? Wow. The scary face onto, onto the Charizard. Not a bad play. He's going to take some Life Orb, and he's going to take Solar Power. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. So Groundhog's going to come out here next. We do have the Soul Best, which I think we just drop a... Uh... What do we do? What do we do here? Charizard's got to go. We can just drop a rock slide, right? Rock slide, yes. And I would love to protect him, but I cannot. And I guess we'll go into we we'll go into a Brave Bird. I mean Groudon will go first in this trick room, which is nice. So he's gonna end up going for another scary face. Maybe, maybe not. He might just uh I don't know what he's gonna do here. He has screen setup already. If I just go for a spear break, right? And let Charizard go. I mean my boy should be able to soak. My boy should be able to soak. Let's see what he's gonna go for. He's just gonna drop a nice little spear break. He's going to end up chipping up into my Groudon. Not doing too much damage. And he's going to get that special attack drop. Luckily, we are physical attacking. And he's going to drop another Heat Wave. So my boy should be able to soak. You guys should be able to soak this, right? Wow, that actually did a lot a lot more damage to my Groudon than I thought it would. Landish Rock Side Groudon. Who's dodging it? Grim Snarl dodges it. That's actually fine. That's actually fine. Because Charizard should go down here. Yeah, cool. Charizard goes down. Brave Bird's going to slide over. We're going to take out Grim Snarl. And it turns into a 2v1 situation. And we have Trick Room. My, my, my team's rather slow right now. My team is rather slow, so if he just pulls out a faster Pokemon, we could be sitting in such a good spot. Because I have my weakness policy pocked on my Ho-Oh, and we kind of just go from there. Okay, who's your final mine? Pull out your final mine. Who is it? It's going to be Groudon. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm not too scared of that thing. Unless he's dropping a Rock Slide. I mean, at this case, I'm just going to go for Blades, and I'm going to try to pop off a Sacred Fire. Love the little Sacred Fire. See who goes first. I'm going to go first. And he dodges my blades. He dodges my blades. Are you kidding me? Sacred Fire's gonna poke through here. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Oh, we get the burn. That's huge. That's GG's. That's gonna be GG's. He's gonna drop a rock slide. Uh oh, should be able to eat this up. With the burn. The burn just won us the game. The burn just won us the game. The burn legit just won us the game. Can't believe he dodged my rock slide like that. I can't believe he dodged my rock slide like that. But I'm just gonna protect my ho oh and we're just gonna win this battle. That's all I have to do. I'll go for a move with him. I'll go for a heat crash. And just protect the ho -Oh. That's going to be GG's. Your boy's going to prevail in battle number two and clutch it up. Protect from the ho -Oh. Play it safe. Definitely got to play it safe. And just have this heat crash come through. Yep. There it is, yo. GG's. One on one for today's video. Solid second battle. Your boy ends up winning, but now we can hop into a third and look to grab ourselves that winning record. It's time to grab ourselves that winning record. First battle was an amazing battle. We ended up losing. Second battle was super close as well. We ended up winning, but now we're going up against a prime time meta team. Charizard Groudon team with Shadow Rider Calyrex, Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Grimmsnarl. One of the best teams for a Series 12. I've been seeing this all over the ladder, and I use it a few times, and it's definitely really, really powerful. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like this is a drought's going to overwhelm us, right? I think we're going to kind of need like a Trick Room going on here. So I might go here and Grimmsnarl. I could go Grimmsnarl. Or I could just set up screens to kind of off from there. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? We could go, uh... We could go Polt and Grimmsnarl. Nah, I really don't like pull, pull unless I'm going with Ho-Oh. I could go here and here. Gotta get rolling with that. I mean, he could fake me out, but we can still kind of get rocking from there. 
I'm gonna go with them too. I kind of want to pop a chicken. You know, I'm gonna try to get off this chicken. I'm gonna go ho and I'm gonna go around him. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. This is the third battle. This is the third battle. But yeah, this one's not looking good for us. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. <laughs> like, this is not looking good for us at all. Not even close. As long as we don't get swept. You guys know to deal with that. We, we don't get swept. We shall not get swept. He's gonna go Calyrex and Cinnawar. Ah! I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. You fake me out, and we don't like fake outs. We do not like fake outs. Do I protect on my P2? If I protect on my P2, this could be a solid turn for us. A nice solid turn for us. He's gonna intimidate me. Oh, I get intimidate. I get intimidate. Run it. Yeah. Run it. I get intimidate. <laughs> that works so well for us. It really does. The intimidate's gonna come out here. Um, I really wanna. I really want to protect my uh, P2 if I have it, but I, I think I have it. I forget. I forget, but I want to set up a light screen here. I'm not dealing with uh, those moves, and I do not have it. So I'm just going to set up the light screen. I am going to go for the trick room if we can get it off. Hopefully, he's faking out Grimmsnarl, but probably not. Yo, P2 is definitely his destination here. He withdraws Calyrex turn one. Okay. He's scared of that. He's scared. It's fine. Do not fake out my P2. Do leave my P2 alone. How many times do I have to tell you? Light screen's going to come out here. So we're screening up here. Um, I really do not think I need to drop a right now. I think I might just uh, thunder wave onto the, onto the czar, and then pop the trick room, and then pop this lovely little trick room. That's gonna be my play. That's gonna be my play. In case he wants to dynamax his Charizard right here right now, we can have that thing paralyzed. That could be nice. That could be nice for us. Be nice for us. But yeah, I feel like we need to have that trick room. Big trick room just needs to come out here. Then we might have to Dynamax our Ho-Ho, or even our Groudon. Our Groudon wouldn't be bad either. But I'm actually glad he swapped the Calyrex. That was kind of, it was kind of scaring me just a little bit. He's gonna end up with John Incineroar. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's gonna go into Groudon. So he's gonna set this Drought. I think he's Dynamaxing. I think he is Dynamaxing. And our problem here is going to be... Problem here is gonna be, is he gonna do enough damage to take out my P2? One, we are gonna paralyze him. So we have that chance of being, uh, of him being paralyzed for the turn. Two, we do have the light screen up, but I don't see light screen just letting this P2 soak up that much. Because a, a G Max Wildfire in drought with solar power and potentially life orb and stab. It's that's powerful. That is like one of the most strong that's that might, be, might be one of the strongest moves right now. Thunder Waves can come out here. We're gonna power this dude and show me he's just not moving this turn. That could be huge for us. And he is gonna move, he's going for a wildfire. Go after Grim Snarl. P2 eat this. I love you, P2. Oh, yes, sir. P2. P2. P2's a dog. He came to play. P2's the man. P2 came to play. He came to play all day. So Trick Room is out and about. Um, I think I'm just going to set up a Reflect and uh, not even really worry about this Charizard, right? Definitely got to set up a Reflect here. Reflect is 100% coming out here. That Reflect rolling just so for that Grimmsnarl. Or not for the Grimmsnarl, for the uh, Groudon. And then I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam. Oh, I could go for recover. I could recover, but I, I'm saying I don't know if I want to recover. Do I want to recover? I mean, if he hits me, he hits me and I'm dead. I could recover. But, you know, I'm going to go for this ice beam. I'm beaming ices. I'm beaming ices. So, reflect coming out here. Because I kind of want P2 to go down just to get out my next Pokemon while Trick Room is out. And we have the reflect and light screens up. So, I kind of want P2 to just kind of just drop out here. So, I'm going to chip up some damage before I go. Maybe get a freeze? Maybe get a freeze? No freeze. Wildfire's gonna come back out here. Probably he's gonna get a double kill here, which I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with. So yeah, he's gonna go down here. P2's guaranteed to go down here because he's gonna take the shot, and then uh, Wildfire is going to chip up on it. But yeah, that thing's gonna take Life Orb, and oh, we're gonna dodge Blades. We're gonna dodge Blades. P2, can you get one more turn out? Can you eat this up? 31 HP. Wow. Wow. 31 HP. I always get so surprised of how much damage that uh that what's called does. That wildfire, 31 HP. God dang, God dang, that's a lot of HP. Um, Rockslide should just be able to take out Charizard. So I think Dynamax and Ho-Oh is gonna be my play here. But again, Rockslide should be able to take out the Charizard. Times four. This is looking good. I am gonna Dynamax and Airstream maybe into just Charizard. <laughs> I actually don't want to Airstream. I'd rather go for a Flare. I'd rather Flare you and just Rockslide across and and have. And I think Rock Slide should be able to take out Charizard. Four times super effective. We might guard the Charizard too. 
Let's see how this one plays. I have, I think I should have a nice little speed. I don't know, the Paralyzed might be biting us in the butt. But he is due for a miss attack here. He's definitely due for a miss attack. But that's so rough, yo. 31 HP. That's a good amount. That's a good amount. Hopefully Char this Charizard is not rocking Ancient Power as his coverage move. Because Max Rockfall could do my hoe. Super dirty. Super dirty. Let's see how this one plays. He's going to end up protecting the Groudon. I'm cool with that. As long as we can get off this rock side here. He's going to end up going first. And he's just going to drop a Wildfire. That's looking a little scary. We do have a Soul Fest in Lechewin, so. Oh my god. Is that a crit? That was probably not a crit. It just did too much damage. Rock side is going to come out here. It's going to get blocked. Please land on the Charizard. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Of course we missed that. Of course we missed our rock side on the Charizard. That hurts the soul. That does hurt the soul. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because Wildfire... Oh, God. We can't protect this turn because then Wildfire takes us out. Actually, uh... Wildfire might end. We're going to hope this thing's paralyzed. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that? You should be dead. You should be dead, Charizard. Charizard should be dead, and we should be sitting in a little bit of a better position than this. We're going to go for Rock Side. Can he be paralyzed this turn? I'm going to withdraw the ground on. Can he be paralyzed this turn? He's going to end up bringing out Incineroar. Smart little swap by him. Can he be paralyzed this turn? He's going to intimidate both my physical attackers. Thank you. He's finally paralyzed this turn. Can we land this Rock Side so we don't get swept? Beautiful. I love you. I love you, Groudon. Thank you, Groudon. Charizard goes down here. We chop up some damage on Incineroar. And uh, I think Wildfire might take us out. We're good. Definitely no good. Or is Wildfire not done yet? Flare's gonna come through here. Gonna do a little bit of damage. Not bad. Probably pop a berry here. And if Wildfire's gone, nope, it's not gone. I was gonna say, we could be sitting pretty nicely, but Ground's gonna drop out to that. So we have one more turn left in the uh, Inner Dynamax. And I think Trick Room ends soon, so we might wanna start boosting our speed here. We might wanna start boosting our speed, but hopefully he has a Pokemon that proc my piles. Kinda need it. <laughs> I kinda need it. He's gonna bring out Calyrex. E. Horse is out and about. Slowly little horse. Who probably has the sash too. No berries allowed, so Incineroar can't eat a berry if he has rock and one. And uh let me see my uh let me see how many turns left in things. We have one more turn left in Trick Room, one more turn left in uh sunlight. So I think uh, we just quake, special defense. Boost. I'm gonna I am gonna go for a special defense boost over to Calyrex. I just think it's better than speed, because Calyrex will still be able to outspeed us speed us with plus one. And of course he protects, but I'm kinda fine with that because he's sashed, if I had to guess. If I had to guess he's gonna he's gonna be sashed. And of course he's parting shots, he's just gonna slowly start chipping me out here and just let the intimidates do the work. That is rough. That is rough. That is rough. Yeah, I don't think we have a shot here, because we have no double hitting moves. I mean we don't we have EQ? We do have EQ. We do indeed have EQ, but EQ's not gonna do too much, right? Not gonna do like some substantial amount of damage. We need him proc policy if that's gonna happen. We are minus two. Quakes can come out here. Nothing. Nothing. We need some crits on the on the field. We need some lovely little crits. So our sunlight's gone. We're minus two. Can someone proc my policy? I need my policy proc, but I think it's over from here. I do think it's over from here. Unless unless we can take out this Calyrex with this. I just don't see it happen. We need a crit. Me crit, but we didn't get swept. But I feel like this battle would have definitely been so much closer, so much closer if we had our what's it called. Oh, look at him. He's just, he's just doing this at this point. Yeah, it's smart play by him. But uh, yeah, I feel like it would have been so much closer if a rock side would actually land it. But yeah, now we're minus three, and then he could just parting shot again, or he could just hard swap. Like he's just playing this one super safe. Side shocks can come out here, chip up some damage onto me. Some nice damage. My boy actually soaks up pretty well here. Can we get a crit? Can we get a crit and, and pose a threat. No, no crit. Maybe a little burn action. Nah, neither. Do I run? No. We don't run. We do not run. Even though he's just going to parting shot into me again. Or oh, he's just going to hard swap. To protect Alex. No, he just fakes me out. Smart play. This guy's got it in the bag. He's going to go for an Astral Brush here. I'm surprised he didn't go for an Astral Brush turn one. So I was surprised. I was surprised he went for the, uh, the side Shock. But we actually took that up really well. The screen's finally gone. And yeah. You know what? We're just going to run this battle. <laughs> it is over with now. We didn't get swept. Rockside definitely did us dirty. If we would have landed that one, I think this battle would have definitely been a lot closer. Not a bad set of battles with the Japan Nationals winning team. I absolutely love this team. Went one and two for today's video. First and third battle definitely could have went either way. The first battle was super, super close. He dodged with the fly, ended up getting the victory. And then that second battle, you guys know, we came up clutch, won that battle. And then the third battle, 
Rockside definitely did a sturdy. It definitely would have been a lot closer. I'm not saying we would have won that battle if Rockside would have landed. I just think we would have had a fighting chance. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.